name is Tim Locke, and I'm a pastoral counselor in Napa, California, and also director of Four Springs, a beautiful retreat center near Middletown, California, with a long history of seminars and retreats in religious wisdom and psychology. And today I want to speak about, um, uh, just briefly, uh, give an introduction to the We Psychology of Fritz Kunkel, which is the basis of a lot of my work as a psychotherapist and also retreats that I lead at Four Springs. And the We Psychology is simply uh, kind of a, a, a modern form or accessible language for some ancient wisdom. And it was developed by Fritz Kunkel, who was a psychotherapist who lived in the early part of the 20th century. Kunkel had an experience uh, during the First World War when he was wounded and thought he was dying on the battlefield. Uh, he had an experience then of the connectedness and the beauty of all of life in the midst of this uh, terrible battlefield experience. And it led him to a fascination with a saying from Jesus, which is, the one who loses life will find life. And he began to study some of the early Christian communities uh, to determine what was the source of their vitality. Um, and what he developed as the we psychology was um, a way of looking at uh, the creative center that's alive in each of us and that he determined was a, a we. And for Kunkel, a we is a living subject that's expressed through more than one person. And there are many we's in which we participate in our lives. Uh, some as long lasting uh, and as intimate as a marriage, although not every marriage expresses a we. And some quite short lived and may be shared with thousands of people, um, perhaps during a sporting event. Some people have an experience of working on a team, um, either in the military or some other uh, scene in life, um, where they feel a larger life moving through them as a unit, and typically this becomes a lifelong memory and a transformative experience. So the obstacle that Kunkel identified to living from this deeper and more creative center, uh, he termed egocentricity. And for Kunkel, uh, the ego is simply the self-images that we carry, the, the self-portraits that we have of ourselves. And these are typically learned early in life uh, from the people around us, from the world around us. And we become identified with these self-images, which have a life of their own, have their own desires, um, have their own impulses. And because we're identified with them, uh, it forms a kind of a shell that, that keeps us separate from this deeper current of life that he called the we. So Kunkel developed some strategies for breaking through this shell and uh, regaining contact with this deeper creative life and living from this creative center that he termed the we. And we'll explore some of those strategies in some additional videos and if you'd like to uh, find out more about me or uh, my work at Four Springs, you can find that at NapaCounseling.org or foursprings.org.